Today we've got Tristan and Eric. We are gonna watch a series of Sovereign Citizen videos and the three lawyers here are gonna break down what we see. We're gonna tell you the good, we're gonna tell you the bad, and I am certain that there is gonna be plenty of bad when it comes to these Sovereign Citizen arguments. All right, let's see what we got, let's roll. He's smiling, he's railroading. Yeah. Can I get your driver's license? You already know who I am. Yes. Be on with your day, sir. Driver's license Thank and you. insurance, please. That's driver's funny. license and insurance. He don't you, need, he don't what need to... What are you trying to identify, sir? Will you have your sergeant out here right now, please? Yeah, yeah thank oh. you. So, if I need your driver's license and insurance. Yeah. I will talk he to you. He don't need to provide a driver's well. license if he's not driver's doing license. something for commerce. Oh, so oh God. You are... You Very just f***ed up. up! Show me your hands. Right you here. just f***ed up. I can't so, find my driver's license. Now what? Okay, What's my do social? He not, doesn't do not, have it. eight one one nine is my social. You know who I am, and you're railroading me, you, and you piss me off. Shut my brother's have your door. Get here now, <laughs> right? You just now. you just illegally right opened now. his door. So I need your driver's license and insurance. Uh, what is your badge on number? Two one. Two one in your name. Two, one. No, hold on. Jeremy wait a minute. Schmitt. Jeremy Kamet. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. wait a minute. Why Buddy. did you pull me over again? You have expired registration on the vehicle. I need okay. A driver's Always license. Will you go take a picture of that and bring it to me? He doesn't have a driver's license. Hold on. Shut I'm trying to call. Okay. I'm trying to call somebody right now. Call 911 because I don't have a driver's license. Need your driver's license. Hold on one second. I'm calling 911. He's not traveling for commerce. Traveling for commerce. I will when I can find it. Oh, you are. I'm going to remove you from the vehicle if you do not provide me your driver's license. It comes back out. Get out of the vehicle. All of you rookies out here. LeBron James fan. I don't have to. It's not my vehicle. I'm going over here to get some lunch. You guys are trying to detain or obtain my brother, and I'm doing my own stuff. You cannot tell me what to do. Absolutely. Absolutely, you can't. Okay. No, you can't. No, I won't. Call your sergeant out here. No. Yes. Get back in your. Call your sergeant out here, sir. Okay. I would like for you to call your sergeant. What do you mean, why? Because you don't know the law, sir. You no, you don't. Let let go of me. Sir, you ain't even putting the handcuffs on properly. All right, what did we just watch? <laughs> I love the passenger. That my brother. And you pissed shut me off, my brother's your door. Get here. So we got a traffic stop. Um, uh, driver and passenger got one officer there on scene demanding a driver's license. Right? Is an officer allowed to ask for a driver's license when he stops it from a driver? Sure. Yeah, yes. it sounds like a good stop to expired registration. Exactly, so. right? And so what this was, they didn't say it, but I've seen these enough now. It's like a sovereign citizen argument. It's like, a, you know, the law doesn't apply to me, especially as it relates to driving. They are under the belief, um, and I'm sort of ad-libbing here. I, I, what their actual belief is is hard to pin down, but their belief is that... They have a right to travel, and that includes driving a car, so long as that car is not being used for commerce. It's a stupid bullshit argument. It's not supported by the law. Um, if you disagree, leave a comment and tell me how much of an idiot I am. Um, but the truth is, of course, you need a driver's license, a valid driver's license to operate a motor vehicle in the United States of America. Yeah, I mean, you can drive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, you know, because they're trying to bend the law or whatever, they believe it doesn't apply to them. Oftentimes, they won't bother renewing the registration either. Same, exact same terrible legal argument. So they get pulled over all the time and then they refuse to give their their information but but the, the, the other part is like what was the basis to arrest the passenger though yeah i think probably that's a little bit weaker i mean i don't see any reason why he couldn't walk and go get lunch if he was going to actually do that right if he was going to stick around and interfere with their investigation then they would definitely i think have a basis to at least detain him but i think they were just pissed yeah i think they're just annoyed but don't they i mean he can ask for his like uh id and see if he has a warrant outstanding he could, so but he if, didn't he yeah, didn't. we didn't see that on the video. Right. You could have, yeah. yeah. Right, so I think the arrest, I think they're probably quickly going to release the passenger would be my guess here. Once they identify this guy, I realize, yeah, you don't actually have a license and they do whatever they do with the driver. But the driver's the one on the hook here, not, right. not the passenger. Yeah, he's also going to be one of those guys where, like, when you go to court, just the prosecution have to deal with them. Like, uh, I dealt with one of these people when yeah. I was a prosecutor uh, like terrible. 15 years ago. 
And we actually, it was downstate, so we actually did a jury trial on a seatbelt ticket because no. the head prosecutor <laughs> wanted to go after this guy so much. Wait a minute, True wait story. a minute. You did a, you've True. done a jury trial on a seatbelt ticket? I have. As a prosecutor. He was guilty, too. <laughs> <laughs> the jury the found, jury him found him guilty. The jury found him guilty, huh? Now, how long was this jury? I know you picked a jury. That took a while. How long was the actual trial? Like 13 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. That was awesome. But, and the, yeah, the jury, I don't even remember how long the jury was out. They were not very long enough. And so his argument was like, not that he had his seatbelt on, but that he didn't need a seatbelt at all? Yeah, he was part of a, a group like near the central Illinois area that was, he came into court and was like, well, you're flying the wrong flag. Yeah. You can't be prosecuting me yes. like in court. So yep, that's exactly. like one of the... Yeah, it's a sovereign citizen. There's also a group, Moorish, have you heard this? Moor, the M-O-R. Artists, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, you know, same sort of argument that, that, you know, the law is rooted in sort of the old common law, constitutional law, anything else derived since then is, you know, BS or whatever their terrible, terrible argument is. It never works except for... Um, when a prosecutor gets annoyed and it's like, this is a stupid ticket anyways, fine, just go away, right? Like, that's a win for that person because the prosecutor just gave up the fight. I love, love that you guys did a jury trial on a seatbelt. I mean, that would obviously County. never happen in like a major <laughs> no. municipality, but in, never in Cook County. No, what would, so what would a judge do in Cook County in that it's, scenario? It's like, no. Yeah. You're not getting a jury trial. You can appeal me if you want. Right, which isn't right either. No. You know, like they're entitled to it, I but suppose. what are you going to do? <laughs> exactly. Like, no, it's not happening. We're not wasting the resources. <laughs> Next. Yes. You know what I mean? I don't know. Um, I've never seen that in, in a big metro. Um, it's private. So it's privately owned? Okay. So uh, you're not does registered it, in any state or territory of New South Wales? Um, no, I'm not part of the state. Nope. Okay. Do you have any identification on you? I do. Australian. Yeah. yeah, isn't she on the other side of the car? Just been asked for identification. Just pulling out my. Okay, so oh, do you go by Chloe? Is that correct? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, so whereabouts are the plates that belong to the vehicle? The registration plates. Um, where are they? That are actually attached to it. That it's obviously registered. Yeah. Yep. So whereabouts are the number plates that belong to the vehicle? Um, in the car. In the car at the moment. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, why aren't they being displayed? Uh, well, I'm I'm going sovereign. Okay. Okay. Pretty much. I'm just really, well. I'm slowly removing myself from yep. being um, under your corporation because you're you're actually a corporation. So you're 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 like a you just collect money. You're like a business. Well, I'm not, but sure. Yeah, yeah. You work. You, you work for the yep, company. You think, yeah. Sure. Um, so anyway, I've, I'm just transitioning into um, interactions. Yep. Transitioning into interactions. So this shows women can be more polite about everything. I was thinking that too. They're just they got these nice little accents. Yeah. They're just chatting it up, you know, hashing it all out. Whereas the last guy just screaming yeah. at each other, slamming doors. <laughs> totally right. But neither of them, I think, have legal basis no. here. So let's see. Um, to pretty much state that you have uh, no authority over me because um, without the number plates and without the license, uh, I'm not actually under your membership. So you can you can rightfully pull over anyone who has a registration plate in whatever state because um, you're registered into a membership. I know you're probably not interested, but um, but without that, um, you, technically there's you, you end up in court and it gets thrown out because they say, oh, you've got loss of license. But if I don't run under a license, then there's nothing to okay. lose. Well, so. under the legislation, obviously, in New South Wales, you are driving a vehicle, or well, you're not currently driving right now, which is fine, but uh, whilst you're driving a vehicle in New South Wales, it must be registered. Yeah, they and say that in every state. you must be to drive it. Okay? That's your... why I'm making these inquiries. Yes, yeah. you understand that? Well, yep. I okay. guess that's your job. Well, um, so do you have your uh, Victorian driver's license there that you previously operated under? Um, yes, I do. Yep, do you have it there with you at the moment? Yes. Yep, may I please see it? You've got it there? I understand um, you give me this one, that's is, fine. Yeah, that's but okay. But I can see that you've got a Victorian driver's license and that's great. Okay. You're saying you can't tackle me if I don't have the ball. Right, yes, exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly right. You can't tackle me if you don't. If I don't have the ball. Even though she does actually have, have a driver's ball. license. Yes. Yeah, she just doesn't want to show totally. that she has it. Exactly right. And, <clears throat> you know, the rules of the game on the field say 
I can fucking tackle you. Yes. It doesn't matter if you have the ball or not. That's a great analogy is you can't tackle me. For, yes. And so they just try to still play the game yeah. by driving the car, but I just don't want to be under the rules of the driving game, the subject to, to exactly right. So these are my registered plates yep. with the state. Yep. But so when I'm, did you take those off? Yesterday. Yes. I'm not part of the state. And that's my property, so. What, well, it's not my property, but it is. It's at naturally the moment. it becomes property of the state, I suppose. Exactly. Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. And I'm not property of the state, so you can't take me. <laughs> well, she's basically on the lines like, at the moment, theoretically. Um, but yes, for her to yes. drive a vehicle, these need to be displayed because it is registered um, in Victoria and that's what is exempting her from requiring New South Wales registration to drive on the roads here in New South Wales. The, pri the public roads. Your opinions can be whatever they want to be, that's fine. I'm, I'm not arguing with you there, but unfortunately the law in, is the law in this state and that's what we're LAW. here to... LAW, LAW, yes. Really okay, so I'm not going to get into a, into a discussion with you about what your beliefs are. That's fine. You're welcome to have whatever beliefs you like. Oh, I can identify as what I want too. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not arguing with that. You can do whatever you want. That's yeah. fine. Cool. But these need to be displayed on your vehicle for you to be driving it in New South Wales. Okay, well, then. Any state, really. Any state, any, yes. going to say that. Maybe they're just more polite because they're not Americans. Yeah, I think the rest of the world is way more, more polite, polite than yeah. Americans. As Americans, we have no ability to identify accents or other parts of the world. I think it's Wales now, right? I don't know. New South Wales. Uh, um, yes, I'm not sure. But yeah, so, so okay, fine. This tells me that there's people perhaps all over the world making this same perhaps terrible argument. I say perhaps because I'm not sure what the law is in other countries, but in the United States, that's just simply not, not working. In fact, oh, in here in Illinois, say you didn't have a driver's license, say you've never had a driver's license in your whole life, or it's from another state or whatever, or you're from another country and you've never had a, a driver's license. Either way, you get the idea. You get pulled over and you get ticketed, they're gonna create an Illinois driver's license number for you. They don't give you an identification card, but there's a way of identifying you with a now an Illinois driver's license number. And that keeps a record of the tickets and everything. So you may feel like you're opting out of the game to use your terminology, but no, they're still keeping stats on you. Yes. So let's break down this whole sovereign citizen argument as we know it. Like you're a citizen by you're born in a country and you're a citizen typically by, by virtue of either where you're born in America yep. or in other countries uh, via your, your parentage, where your parents are from, that confers your citizenship status. Yep. Everybody has to be a citizen of somewhere, at least theoretically. Yep. So if you're born here, you're a citizen here, and then you have, under the Constitution, you have all the rights of a citizen, and you also have all the responsibilities of a citizen, and you're not required to get a driver's license. And I don't think you're actually required to have a state identification, but it's almost a de facto requirement in that it's so necessary for so many to elements operate. of daily life, like yeah. to go to the store, sure. to go on a plane or a train, right. you got to have it. And by doing those things, I guess you- A bar. A bar. <laughs> you might be buying into some corporation or not, but you're also doing what you need to do to function in daily life. I mean, unless you want to live on a ranch in Montana- Right. How could you exist without a, some form of identification? Right. But what you said there is you, you may be buying into some sort of corporation or not. And, and that's, I think, right, the crux of that sovereign citizen argument that the government is, I don't know, no longer a government. It's a, it's a, it's a corporation and you're choosing to contractually, you know, operate. You uh, are. I mean, you're, you're playing the game. But I think calling it a corporation is a meaningless distinction. It's something that exists that provides, that facilitates services like fire and police and stores. And right. if you want those things, you got to do the things that they ask. Right. So, yes, because the U.S. government is not a corporation. I no. think that's the crux of their argument. It's a democratic republic, if we're, if we're, right. uh, if we're getting technical. And I think now we're getting a little outside my house, but there are governmental corporations like post the post. Office. Yeah, post office is a perfect example, right? CTA, sure. People, maybe they're getting confused <clears throat> about that or more likely they're not actually confused. They're trying to conflate the two maybe to bolster their, the government is a corporation argument, it's I guess. It probably comes down to the money, right? Like if you don't yes. want, you know, I don't want to pay money for my driver's license. Yes. I don't want to pay taxes. I want... So I see the government's corporation, it's corrupt and blah, blah. Yep. But I'm it's gonna, a way to rebel. Yes, but it's not. And I get it. Like, the government is there suck. to make money. It sucks. Yeah. I don't like taxes. No, I don't like taxes. I don't know what I pay that little, you know, 150 bucks for the sticker on my license plate. It sucks. But 
you know, I, I am playing the game because then I don't get arrested for dumb stuff. And it's hard to walk everywhere. Hard and everyone has like, it's all like conspiratorial <laughs> undertones too, like yeah. related to, they're all saying like the That's government, it. when really, when you think about it too, like all of these are done in on a state by state basis. Texas may have more stringent requirements for ID or less stringent. Whereas Illinois, like you might not need to have an ID to vote or do other things. Right. So it is a state, it is also, it's not even a, like some big, you know, new world order thing, uh, right. which, no is world what, world which, which is what, which is what, which is what everyone is like kind of getting at. It's like part of this whole I think sovereign right. thing is like something bigger than your, you know, your state legislature, or state right. government. Only in the wettest of dreams is America a world order for some president. Like, every state's different. You get arrested in, there's dry counties in Illinois. And there's places where you can drink on the street. Like, it's, right. it's absolutely not a world order conspiracy. Here. Right. Yeah, there, there's definitely variations, yeah, among states, within states. And, yeah, it's too, it's too many leaps. It's, it's, it's detached from reality. And he will see that in court. Like, I'm, I'm sure of it, you know? I mean, we talked about maybe a prosecutor's like, fuck it, I don't want to deal with this, right? But absent that, you're never winning this on no. a legal basis. You're telling a judge who's paid to uphold the law that there is no law, that it doesn't apply to yes. you. Like, that guy's out of a job if you're right. Right, exactly. Well, actually, I've had someone tell me before that, like, a judge actually knows this. They just don't tell it to you. Like, no, you're, you're wrong. Like, Not twice. Or yeah. <laughs> There's no secret book that's, like, sits back there and, it, it's you know, only the people who are in the, you know, no. sort of new world order, yeah, operate out of that manual. Like, Give me the other book. Yes, at least not legally on the state level, that's for sure. All right, but specifically within there, what about traveling? This argument of I, I was just traveling, I was not driving. A lot of what they're getting at, too, is something more about what this country was like at, like, conception, yeah, as opposed to... Yeah, like mentioning commerce is related to, like, constitutional terminology. The, I think almost. the traveling thing from the Constitution... Traveling is the ability to go from, like, because America was different states, which were different countries when the country was founded. Like, Virginia had its own money, and right. so did Delaware, right? And the, one of the things they wanted to guarantee is somebody from Delaware could go to Virginia and have the freedom to do so in return. That's traveling. But it doesn't mean that they had the freedom to ride a horse if they didn't have a horse license or whatever was required. <laughs> Just like today, you can travel to New Jersey. I could get in my car and drive, or I could get on a plane. But in either case, I've got to have either an ID for the plane or a driver's license for the car. Yep. That's how I'm getting there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And no, but those are two different things. So let me just break that down. To fly, you are flying almost certainly with a, uh, a corporate, co corporate, yeah. private um, company. And that's just their requirement. Now, yeah. I, there may be a government requirement to get through security sure. too, right? But that's their requirement. Driving is, yeah, you you know, sure, feel free to walk across the country right. without an ID. It, go you can ahead. Do it. it is legal. Go ahead. It is legal. But then, you know, you're just it's just semantics, right? They're trying to say that that driving I'm sorry. I'll, actually being behind the wheel of the car and operating that motor vehicle is is, is um It's protected by the traveling. It's, tra status. it's just traveling. Yeah, you're it's not. only driving if if you're operating that vehicle for commercial purposes, delivery of goods or whatever. I don't know how they came up with that, but it is not supported by the law. No, no. <laughs> it's hard to break down a sovereign citizen <clears throat> argument because it's a moving target. And it is not only based off of, um, you know, sort of a conspiracy theory undertones and, and for, comes from a rebellious sort of nature, but I'd say at the very core, it is desperation. It is people who are getting arrested and want a way out. Yeah, people 100%. who have financial issues and, and you know, can't afford to register their vehicle and want a way out. Uh, can't afford to pay fines and fees that inevitably come with these things and want a way out. You know, they're sick of life and they want a way out. You know, to to sort of avoid um, what is a pervasive part of society, and that is the laws that you have to live by. Or someone else just looking to pick a fight. Yeah. I feel like the girl in the Australia was just like wanting to like. Very have, politely. Yeah, very politely just disagree. If nothing else is we've learned over the past couple of years, people love to disagree. People do love to disagree. That is right. Right.